stereotypes in war are, you know, the Germans are the bad guys and the British are the good guys. And I kind of wanted to mix it up in this film and show that, you know, the British can be the bad guys and the, the Germans, you know, they're not all evil. A lot of them are suffering. Inspirations were Testament of Youth, mainly for the colour palettes. They have a lot of green and brown and that fits into World War II really well. And that will contrast quite well with um, actress's uh, costume, which is like a bright red colour, so um, she'll stand out quite a bit compared to the rest of the palette, which I think look quite nice. I want to go for a natural feel to the film, um, very close to nature. I also want to bring some war sounds into the film, um, so like sounds of planes, bombs and stuff like that, uh, just to tie it in. The location actually turned out to be one of the easiest things because I had visited a museum a couple of months earlier and they've got World War II sets. We've got a farm that looks pretty World War II-y and it is a very nice farm, very nice people and the horses are all excellent actors. For more shot movements, I watched Riverdale quite a lot just because I like the cinematography and that and they have a lot of movement but slow movement and I kind of like that so I tried to implement that into the film as well. I had a lot of handheld equipment as well because I like handheld looks a lot more than steady so that included like shoulder rigs and just using my hands. The overall process of the film has been long and complicated and required a lot of thinking on our feet and changing things quickly because we've had actors drop out like three times now. Um, we've had a lot of issues with XLR cables um, where they've been unsoldered. Somehow they got fixed. Also another challenge in this film is we've got no budget. For costumes, the director and I went round to charity shops and got together as much as we could, the props we ordered off eBay and we've just had to have our sound and editor as our personal taxis for the whole film. Like the whole film I really wanted to focus it around the coffee kettle as if the kettle was a character itself. Uh, at the end of the day the kettle is used for something that, that she never thought she would use it for and that's why it's called coffee kettle. Mine and the director's relationship is very important for filming, mainly because we have to work together to get the shot list done and if I do a part of the shot list and I'm not sure about it obviously I will go to the director and ask what she thinks and then she'll move it around. And I'm a real history buff so I'm really excited to make a film about history and the war and keep the, keep the story alive. When it's all finished and I can actually watch it back and see it all put together is the most exciting thing because I'm a storyteller with a camera so once it's all put together it actually becomes what I envisioned it to be.